Welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my husband, Jared. Hi. And my brother, Bryson. Hello. Today, we're going to be chit-chatting with you about the most recent weekly peak. But before we get into that, a quick word from Ender, who says... I love my freedom shirt, and we are so excited, Ender, that you like your freedom shirt. We, I can't wait to get the design. That's going to be my next one. But uh, we, the freedom design, if you missed it, is uh, the one that we did for Fourth of July, and really it works all the time because you can just always show your patriotic spirit. If you're American or if you like America and you're like, hey, that's cool, uh, there you go. <laughs> that That's an option for you. Uh, so the link to that uh, shirt and, of course, all the other shirts that we provide will be down in the description below. We also have a 15% off sale going on still uh, it's going to be now through tomorrow so the 12th is when it ends so if you want to take advantage of that that's still rocking and rolling as well we had a really exciting friday mm-hmm. it was bryson's a uh, video to edit and he did a wonderful job he did it was on the workshop which was fun you know you say that but i can't actually remember what's in it <laughs> <laughs> my memory is like a fish well it started seconds. out with some mowing the, the, oh uh, yes i load them I on i think was uh yeah. Yeah, load them, uh, on. load them on. Spot. Load them on. Spot. This is a segment there. Amazing what kind of Pokemon you can find when you're mowing that lawn. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't much out here if you're talking about Pokemon Go. But no. I found a fine. lizard. Does that count? There you go. There you go. And I know what you're asking yourself right now. These are palm trees. So I'm glad that we got that clarified. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Gracie Shepard said, love the progress. Will you add some of those wooden spots between the bags, like electrical, uh, to maybe put a flower pot box outside of the hyper adobe? Or is your climate too hot? I'm quite a bit north of you in Canada, so learning. That's a good idea. We might want to put some stuff out there like that. I like that idea, that too. Because at the very least, you could put cactus in there. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, you really could do you know, potter plants uh, outside, as long as they weren't in the direct sun. There are some really beautiful cactus, though, mm-hmm. that do really well out here, uh, that flower and are actually quite amazing, and you don't have to water them that much, because mm-hmm. they don't like a lot of water. Yeah. And it's and one of the can, few places you can grow cactus like that, too. Mm-hmm. So. And they can grow in direct sunlight all the time, so. Yeah, not really be affected much. Mm-hmm. There's all kinds of different cactuses, thorny, thornless cactuses. Yes, they exist. And, you know, other ones that look soft but are not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's a good idea. Good to remind us that we might want to hang some stuff on the outside. I know we've been talking about different um, things that we can do with the stucco on the outside with different types of molds. Mom is pretty excited about that. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited about that. There's a lot of really cool concrete molds that we're going to maybe try using. So we might have get some fun textures on the outside. So. Yeah, you know, interesting you said that, too, because that was something that dawned on us. We didn't put an outside plug on the other side. And we're like, oh, we need to do that before we go too high. Mm. Uh, might even be too high now for it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it was one of the things that we thought about. We're like, oh, wait. You know, you think about so much. You plan for what's going to go in the building, mm-hmm. but you don't really plan for what's going to go around it or what's going to go on the outside yeah, of it. No, you don't really think about that. You You're like, well, I'm going to be inside of it. <laughs> it, knows, it would be weird but, if there was more electricity on the outside. Yeah. Would it be, though? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you do most construction outside. It's so like uh, no, you need just... to plug in your drill, so you have to go outside to plug it in. That that could be bad. Anyway, Karen just Shelton... put all the plugs outside. Yeah, put all the... Oh, yeah. no, no, no. We didn't want that inside. You it's know, outside. <laughs> I was thinking about this, though. I just learned this, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I didn't know this. But I guess there are a lot of fires get started with plugs going bad. Mm. And I was thinking about that. I was going, what happens when a plug goes bad in the dirtbag building? Mm-hmm. And, you know, by golly, I don't think it would light anything. Because well, there's the wood, but unless unless you had something next to it, I don't think it would light anything because it's surrounded by dirt. Right, mm-hmm. it's flame retardant. It's quite flame retardant as it is. So I don't know if that means the building is actually safer. In the way of that, I never thought about that being the case. Well, there's less to burn down. I think that we can say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Karen Shelton said, looks fabulous, guys. Thank you. I noticed as Bryson and Jared were bagging the new walls, there is no barbed wire between the layers. Is that because the wider bags don't require the support? Um, And actually, Karen... The way that the Hyper Adobe is, that it's the onion bags, they don't need any uh, barbed wire. They'll adhere together. Yeah, they adhere to themselves. There's enough space in between that they kind of get in there and then they kind of kind of lock them. together a little bit. Yeah, because the barbed wire, of course, you know, probably keeps it from, you know, from, from slipping. Slipping and it, it helps adhere those bags Horizontal together. But strength. Because of the material, we're, we're told we don't have to do the barbed wire, and I agree. I mean, we, we wet down both, both sides too so that they're nice and it's nice 
nice and damp so that it has a better yeah. um, opportunity to, to do it. I think Tiny Shiny Home was yeah. uh, doing that. We loved that idea. Mm-hmm. So that's it, what we started doing too. Yeah, and in the past with the bags that were completely filled all the way around or didn't have any room to breathe really much, there was no way for the dirt to, to have dirt to dirt contact between the bags. But now with the onion bag, there's a lot of dirt to dirt contact. And so you don't need a barb to glue the layer together. It glues itself. Super nice. Super nice. Super but good nice. observation, Karen. That is, That's yeah. very good observation. You're like, oh my gosh, we forgot barb. Oh no. <laughs> no. That's it. Tear it all down. <laughs> no. Tear it all down. <laughs> Will Gardner says, can you do the whole strip of bags from the block building to the big door with just one scoop of dirt or do you need to reload? We can go about 10 feet. Yeah on one load of dirt. I noticed that half. They could do about half in one scoop. And that's the half with the door. Yeah. The half with the door, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the door. With about one scoop. Yeah. So it's about it's about one scoop. That being said, they are very big bags. Mm-hmm. Um, if we went with our normal size buildings, we probably could do the whole thing in one scoop. Yeah. Uh, but it's just because they're very big bags. Um, you know, two layers is about a foot. So you can imagine it's pretty pretty hefty mm-hmm. 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 her doctor professor love says you guys move a lot of dirt around including sweeping up get yourselves a leaf blower i just got one and now i sweep an area that would have taken 20 minutes with the broom in about 30 seconds your results will vary we love that idea we do mm-hmm. and we actually did we do that this week as we planned to yes i did it before the shots uh, the yeah. thing is oh, i didn't know this but we actually were looking for a leaf blower for the backyard uh, <laughs> because we were trying to figure out how we could get the gravel clean it's something you don't really think about when you have gravel is <laughs> that you have to do something with it you can't just leave it otherwise it becomes dirt again mm-hmm. so we were trying to figure out how to clean the gravel um, and so we actually ended up picking up a leaf blower to blow all the like sticks and, and mesquite beans most importantly mm-hmm. off into the basins and stuff and lo and behold that not only worked really well but i also found it worked really well for sweeping as well like what you <laughs> said and oh man is that a nice tool to have it around is. now we get like we get a lot of dirt on there so you i do. was wondering like oh man if it would be too much dirt to leaf blow off of the, the, the thick stuff you, you would just... blow it off there's actually what happens is we get we get molds you know or actually they're more like pocket gophers in back in the backyard and they build up these huge piles of dirt on top of the gravel mm. and it's like well, hi what are you supposed to do with that well, <laughs> if I take a leaf blower that blows, you know, 200 mile an hour wind. No, I don't know what it is. It's something like that. And you just point it at that sucker. Lo and behold, it blows all that dirt away. And I don't know where the dirt goes. I don't know if it blows off and lands in the gravel elsewhere. But eventually it all looks nice when it's all done. It so eventually goes it away. Works. They haven't been yet. Cross your fingers. They haven't been getting uh, hurting any of our plants around here really know. that we know of. Because we don't plant in the ground. Um, we have a lot of grubs that eat the roots of stuff that we plant in the ground. So the aquaponics is a place that, that plants can thrive. And then they're in pots mostly yeah. if we care about the plant up yeah. off the ground. Because because those, uh, those pocket gophers are really fun. When they take your plant, they you know. Uh, they take the whole thing. They, <laughs> they like, dig around it, and then it's I remember gone. mom was watching outside in one of her plants, because we did have a ground garden at one point, and she was watching, and one of the plants were getting... Like shrinking in height, it was getting pulled under by one of those pocket gophers. It's amazing. For some reason, I have that memory you back know, in my mind somewhere. I don't know why. Pocket gophers would make amazing bank robbers. Oh, they would. I'm just saying. We should train them. <laughs> no. um, Speaking of pocket gophers, you know, uh, we have a pocket gopher t-shirt design. Oh my gosh, look at you. Yeah, we uh, do. We do have a pocket. We'll, wow. we'll flash it up if you're interested. Oh, sorry. There was too much segue for Jared to ignore yeah. that. Yes. That was that was too good, Jared. I'm proud of you. So, <laughs> so unless the pocket gophers, gophers learn how to swim, I think the plants will be safe in the aquaponics. Yes. I wouldn't put it past them, mind I you. I wouldn't put it past uh, them. I don't think swimming's in there personal preferences i don't think it is no sharon Rhodes says where will the stairs go that will lead to the second story and i think that dad there's this big tree in the front of the of the you um, know where the flat slab is onto the side of it mm -hmm. and there's that big tree that sits there i think that dad is planning on actually doing the stairs through the tree so you Mm -hmm. walk through the tree and up 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 into it i don't know if he's still planning on doing that but i thought that was a super cool idea yeah and that and uh because I don't think there's going to be inside stairs to from the shop no, to the apartment probably at all. not. He wants to keep the he mainly wants to keep the apartment separate from the shop. 
So whoever's in the shop isn't being bothered with the apartment and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think that's probably a good idea. So all the entrance points will be from the outside of the building, not from the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, to add to that even, uh, Dad wants to put in an elevator. He's yeah. like, you know, I don't know if I want to carry groceries up a bunch of stairs. I think mm-hmm. I'd rather just go over and push a button. Mm-hmm. So I think that uh, that is in the in the works as well. I don't know. Dad tends to dream super big and then dial it back. He so, does. you know, it's going to have a uh, massive spa and a, uh, a, a lookout tower. To space. A 50, rocket launcher. A 50-foot pool. Raised, yeah. A 50-foot raised pool. Yeah. yeah. It, it's going to have a lot of features, and then it'll come back to wherever uh, we can reach. So a time travel device <laughs> inside. Yeah, uh-huh. I like it. Dad dreams big, and then and then goes from there, which is a good place to start, I think. Although, if you had a time ta- travel device on the second story, when you went back in time, it would just crash to the ground because there was no building holding the thing up. Uh, wow. So, you <laughs> know. True. You can only this far. You know, that's something to consider. Like, what if you make a time traveling device? This one, that, the, something that just dawned on me, and you built it in a spot that wasn't always there. Yeah. Like, what if there was a canyon that was never, never usually a canyon? Maybe it was full of water or something. And you time travel, and you're in the middle of the ocean now, or something really bizarre because our landscape is changing. It mo- it changes and maneuvers around. <laughs> That's so funny. There's so, so many like, problems what would happen? time travel. What Let's would happen? Real. <laughs> right. That's hilarious. This is, this is, I feel like this is like a Minecraft debacle. I think someone should make a movie where he's building a time travel device. It takes him the entire length of the movie. When he finally gets done and he does it, he ends up in the middle of the ocean and just dies. <laughs> yeah, and it, it is the Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then in chat it says, such and such suffocated in a wall. <laughs> <laughs> More oh gamer boy, jokes. we've been that playing was, a lot of games. We've been playing yeah. too many games. Yeah, recently. Minecraft That's lately. Uh, Lori uh, Farquhar says, "Do you have a timeline as to when the shop might be completed?" I think we're hoping by the end of the year. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know if the end of the year. Probably sometime next year, right? But, uh, probably. It, it's going to take a little bit. The thing is. Um, it, the walls itself, I don't think are going to be taking as long as they used to. So I think that process will be faster. But there is a lot more wood construction in this yeah. build. Although there's not a lot of wood construction for a build like this, it's still going to be way more than we're used to yeah. with most of our builds. Yeah, and unless you figure out a way to bag uh, above the 8-foot mark, like... Other than by hand, um, if we're not able to figure that out, that's going to slow us down pretty yeah, that's significantly. That too, like if we can't bag up too far, because at some point we're limited to how long and how far that skid, mm-hmm. steer, skid steer can lift. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's also a good point too. That might slow yeah. us down a little bit too. But I think the main chunk of it will go pretty fast. Yeah, I think so. Ann Watros says, Bree and Jared... Everyone can see the love you two have. <laughs> How does Jared like living on the homestead? Uh, I like it. It's you fun. Like it? It's like after experiencing it and just, I don't know, this is the YouTuber lifestyle is. <laughs> Very fun. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking yesterday. It's it's fun to have the jobs that we do. We in the, YouTube isn't the only thing that we do, but um, in every case, we we work for ourselves, which is mm-hmm. is really fun to have that freedom of, mm-hmm. of being self um, employed mm-hmm. has been has been very freeing and fun. And for us, we never like to leave each other's sides, <laughs> so it's fun to be able to work together and, yeah. and do stuff. So and then also living on a piece of property that's bigger than like. Uh, an eighth of an acre is <laughs> really nice. Like, get to go outside and just explore your property and think of like, oh, I could build that there if I wanted to. <laughs> Am I going to? Probably not. But, <laughs> <laughs> it's <a> fun dream. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's well, I'm interesting. Glad you like it. We like having you here. I Thank like you. having you. Here. <laughs> it's super nice to have an extra guy around. I will say, not that guys are the only thing that build things, but that's true. But know. still. Women are pair of strong hands. as likely to hop in a skid steer and scoop some dirt, <clears throat> toss it in the bag. We, we're an as needed. <laughs> if it, it was required, we'd make it happen. That you would make it happen. But we have a Jared. I do not and a doubt Bryce. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for us this week. We are in the middle of uh, putting together a streaming computer uh, because we have been wanting to to do like a Wednesday night live stream that's like gaming or we were thinking of like Wednesday game night type of thing where mm-hmm. um, I know we really love playing Minecraft. We build and create and design in there all the time. We are yeah. big fans and we thought it might be kind of fun. One of the one of our main focuses on the channel is doing our best not to waste your time. We want to make sure yeah. that when you tune into one of our videos that, you know, there's content and something interesting to, to listen to and you go away going like, yes, that was time well spent. So, um, and I know uh, live streams can run a little bit slower, but we really like the dynamic of a live stream where we get to sit down and chat with you. Even if you're not into games, if you want to just sit down and say hi and mm-hmm. and touch bases with us in a live uh, platform, mm-hmm. we, we really like doing that. And yeah. of course, we'll probably be doing live streams of building stuff and yeah. whatever in the future as well, yeah, we will. on top of something on Wednesday night. But we thought we'd give that a, a, a go and see if that's something that you enjoy and that, that we can enjoy and continue mm-hmm. to maintain because we have busy schedules putting these videos together. It takes hours and hours every week, <laughs> plus yeah, plus the work. <laughs> um, but we we, but we enjoy we, it. We enjoy it. We so love we it. love what we do. So, um, but anyway, so a little heads up on that. It, it probably won't start this Wednesday because we're still waiting for some parts, um, parts to come in the mail. Mm-hmm. Um, but we've done a lot of live streaming for gaming. We used to do it six days a week on Twitch to, um, yeah. up until we, we ended up stopping because our internet was too slow. Yeah, uh, but it was not cutting it. We just got Starlink, so yeah, we're we pretty stoked. It works pretty good. So, <laughs> really um, good. anyway, we thought we'd give that a rock and roll uh, on a Wednesday in the future, and also run it past you, let you know that that's something that we'd like to do. And um, yeah, anyway, there you go. <laughs> we really appreciate you hanging out with us and being a part of our family. We want to give a special thank you to our Patreon supporters. Thank you for your financial support. If given a buck or two a month, sounds like something you might be interested in doing. The link to our Patreon page will be down in the description. We really appreciate you uh, taking the time to comment and engage with us and share your ideas and ask your questions and all that stuff we absolutely love hearing from you it's one of our favorite things to do so uh, you keep us encouraged and feeling the wind beneath our wings so thank you so much and we look forward to hanging out with you on friday we have a special weekly peek that's coming to you mom and dad have put together we're super stoked about that mm-hmm. that will be floating wink you'll understand your way on friday we will see you soon have a wonderful week Bye. Bye.